Hey everybody, it's Ped's Card Collection coming back at you with another video and tonight we're doing a recap of our 2022 Tops Update Hobby Case. So finally got some semblance of order to this madness. I mean, I still have about seven or eight, maybe more huge stacks of base cards with rookies mixed in that I'm still uh, going through, but little by little got the big stuff separated so i thought we would make a uh a case recap video before i start selling these cards and i uh, won't be able to make the video any more completely at least so broke them down into uh wit rookies and j-rod rookies the mojo cards and then short prints and parallels and then all these top loaded ones are the biggest cards of the break so we're gonna start off with the bobby wit jr rookies see how many of those we got i uh, got some variations coming up later of him in the in the video but got a ton of base cards so 12 total hobby boxes and let's see how many wits we can hit so we got one two three twelve base wits 13 plus some inserts, so maybe around 15 wits. J-Rod, we got the black gold. We didn't get the wit black gold, so I did pick up 11 blasters this past uh, weekend, so gonna be ripping those open pretty soon and still toying with the idea of potentially getting a hanger case, so, or a blaster case, since the blaster case is much cheaper and blasters seem to be pretty nice as well. But here are the J-Rods. We got one black gold and then a bunch of base, Twelve base, thirteen, including the black gold, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen J Rod rookies. Threw in the Torkel sins. Don't think I got as many of those, but I might have not separated them all. But uh and we got this Wander Franco tops black gold. So we got an average of more than one Bobby Witt Jr. and J Rod true rookie. Uh, so I didn't even include the rookie debuts for those. So if you do, I, I would imagine I'm north of 30, 35 rookies of the bigger name guys. So definitely a nice little touch there. Uh, here we go with the mojos. I top loaded the best mojos for later, but we got some nice rookies. Mackenzie Gore, rookies, Kevin Smith, Newt Barr, Arias, Miranda, Duran, Ellery's Montero, another Arias. And then these were all pretty much uh, base chrome mojo. But we do have three numbered cards coming up of the mojos. I believe two of them being rookie cards. So I'm just going to fly through the rest of these. And let's get to the short prints numbered cards. So here we go. We got some short print rookies, some regular base veteran short prints some throwback short prints so we got a nick allen rookie short print I haven't had time to sleeve and top load all the big cards just yet but we'll be doing so in the near future we got the nick allen rookie short print i can glove it like no other kyle schwarber short print given the peace sign from down below all the way on the flow look at him go we got the mariano rivera Short print, that's a pretty sick card for the Yankees. Looks like it's just after they won the World Series. Jorge Posada, giving them the high five. So pretty sick action shot there. Got some more short prints coming on up. We got Greg Maddox, the Assassin, the 88 mile an hour Invisible. Mark McGuire, short print with the old 90s cutoff. Windbreaker, pretty sick looking card. In the cages, we got a Bob Gibson short print and then two of the numbered parallels. We got three blacks to 71 guys. First one being Adam Frazier. So three to 71 is pretty darn good. I'd say we beat the odds. I didn't exactly do the math, but I can't imagine this is normal. So no rookies, unfortunately, this time around for the blacks. But we got the Frazier, the hand, and another type of hand in Craig Kimbrell. 
This black is actually numbered to 299. So this is the All-Star Game black. The All-Star Game numbered cards are have a different uh they're numbered to a different number. So um this one is obviously not to 71 to 299. So I guess it's to a different different subset of the checklist, but I like that idea. It keeps you on your toes and adds some more parallels, which never hurts in my book, as long as you don't super saturate it like uh with some of these basketball and football releases but so far i think we're you know teetering on the right on the right threshold here we go with the michael fulmer with our only uh independence day parallel this one's numbered at a 76 as always we got a pretty nice ryan pepio this is a vintage stock rookie card and actually pretty darn pretty darn well centered there and guy's got a bazooka of an arm i mean he looks like a bodybuilder i don't know if he's playing the right sport there but hopefully that can translate to throwing a little cheddar cheese little country country hardball little high octane fastball in that gigantic bicep and forearm of his my god well a pretty sick card number to 99 moving on to the foil cards and the golds got the luke williams rookie card Red foil, this one is numbered out of 199. But curious to hear what you guys think. If you were here uh, watching the live stream, really appreciate it. We had a ton of fun. First time I ever ripped a case. And uh, I'd say we broke even when all is said and done. Thought we got a really nice one. AJ Pollock moving into the orange foil board. But curious to hear what your thoughts are and how we did overall in the case comparatively to other cases. We got the Jason Krizan, team color match, orange rookie, Adam Angle, Nasty Nestor, got some greens, no rookies. Oh, wait, yeah, we did get a rookie of the green, but that's coming up later. We got some, these are the gold parallels, rookie Joe Perez, that guy, Tommy Romero, and then these are a bunch of base, so... Eighteen gold plus we have some more coming up. So we probably hit around 20, 22 golds total. Not too shabby. And then moving on to the rainbow foils before we get to the top loaded hits of the case. We've got the Duran rookie foil, another Perez, Jabroni rookie, uh dual Oakland, and then just a bunch of veteran foil cards and then moving on up these blue cards are actually pretty tough to pull they're not numbered but they all are short printed so we got this Nolan Arnato blue tops black gold or tops black gold blue parallel however you want to say it and then we got the nice Justin Verlander all-star game blue so we got a couple nice Astros blue parallels and then the Jordan Alvarez 87 design an A rod, I think I got a big poppy as well, and a bunch of black gold. And then let's get to the main event the meat and potatoes of the case. Nice Mike Trout there. I could probably should have gotten a top loader quicker. So, right, Aaron Judge, Bo Bichette, and a sick big meat Pete Alonzo. So, here we go. This is where we're going to make up our ground, the majority at least of the case with these heavy hitters. First one isn't too, too crazy, but I did get it in a top loader, so might as well just keep on flowing with the Mookie Betts, Jackie Robinson. This is the manufactured patch card. We got the Wander Franco, commemorative Jackie Robinson, <laughs> Robinson Day uh, rookie card. Sweet one there. Moving on to the big mojo cards, we got a Hunter Green, Spencer Torkelson. Man, these are just gorgeous. MJ Melendez. Got an Alec Thomas. We got two CJ Abrams. And then I put all the relic cards in a sleeve, so we'll just fly through these. Chris Bryant, Bat Relic, Eloy. Espinal jersey, Seeger jersey, Crawford, Correa, and Jeter. 
pulled a rookie autograph, Kervin Castro. Never heard of him. Rookie auto, Joan Adon for the Nats. We've got a gold rookie, uh, Gabriel Arias. Really well centered on that one. Sharp corners. Hopefully we have some nice new cards for some PSA submissions out of this case. Mackenzie Gore. Rookie debut, rainbow foil rookie. We got a redemption auto, Shane McClanahan, all-star stitch autograph card. So not sure what this is numbered to. I think someone was saying to 25 or less. So excited for this to come in. And then the numbered mojo cards, we got a rookie, Brian De La Cruz. This one is numbered out of 199. Heliot Ramos. Rookie card mojo numbered out of just 199 as well. So I think this is the purple parallel. We've got a Patrick Wisdom. Or wait, this one's got to be purple. So I don't know what color the other one's considered. But neither here nor there. This one's out of 75. Then we got a gold rookie to 50. Josh Winder or Winder. These golds are actually pretty tough to uh, pick out unless you look at this this uh, card stock, the thickness of the card, and um, turn the card around, obviously, and see that's number to 50, but this is a pretty nice one. So hopefully it pans out to be something special. We got a Bryson Stott Rainbow Foil rookie card, true rookie. Nick Lodolo Short Print rookie card. We got a Royce Lewis Tops Gold, true rookie. So now here are the big hitters, guys. These are all the best cards of the case coming on up. We got a J-Rod Mojo card. Planning on sending this one off to PSA. I think this is like a $50 card raw, which is pretty insane. Love that pose. Got an O'Neill Cruz rookie debut, rainbow foil. Got a Nick Lodolo Generation Now red rookie card numbered out of just 10. Six out of 10, pretty freaking cool. Team color match parallel generation now. We got an Alec Thomas home field advantage. Beautiful rookie card. First home field advantage card I've ever pulled. These are case hits. It's like he's in the Arizona desert. They're all themed to the team I believe on that there. And uh, that's a pretty cool one. The cactus. Rattlesnake, yeah, that's pretty cool. Got some tacos down below. I might send this one off if it uh, checks out my inspection. Then the top three cards of the break. Actually just sold this one on eBay, but it was the one of one Mookie Betts sketch card. Put it up for auction. Uh, really cool, neat pull. I think it sold for $112. Not too shabby. I don't really collect sketch cards. Then the two biggest cards are the Bobby Witt Jr. Rainbow Foil Rookie. And the biggest card of the break was the card we pulled in the first box being the Bobby Witt Jr. Green Foil Rookie card numbered out of $4.99. Only bummer is, was looking at this card closer. It's got a tiny, tiny little like line on the back, so... I don't think it's going to gem, unfortunately, guys, but still a beautiful card to hit. And not only did we hit one Bobby Whip big parallel, but we hit multiple. So I'm not complaining. Happy to keep this card as is. Just a stunning looking card. And uh, I thought we did pretty well, guys. I thought we, when all is said and done, retained our value. And, uh,. Maybe ended up in the positive. So I'd be curious to hear what your thoughts are overall. Definitely let me know if you're interested in potentially seeing another case being open. Not hobby, but potentially a blaster case or a hanger case. And I'm not sure if I would rip it live. I'd probably break it up into videos next time. But what a, what a blast that was, ripping it all in one sitting. It took five hours, but it was a pretty pretty darn fun stream definitely the best stream we've done here so far but once again reminder doing a giveaway this upcoming friday i'm uh, gonna be going live friday night around eight o'clock eastern time then i'm gonna be 
following that up immediately with a massive card sale. So hope you guys can make it. Really appreciate you checking out this video. As always, hope you have a happy, healthy Thanksgiving, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peds Card Collection out. Take care.